We're staying in, actually. What's wrong with cooking dinner on a first date? He's not a sicko rapist. Oh, I gotta let you go. It might be him. Is that garbage? No, it's all my clothes and belongings. Also, I think something in your apartment's on fire. The flounder! Well, I think it's done. Who's this for, anyway? Just some guy I met on... Just some guy I met. We haven't technically met yet. So you invited someone you've never met? into your apartment for dinner. What's wrong with cooking dinner for a first date? Well, what if he's a sicko rapist? He's not a sicko rapist. All right, well, I'm here now. I've got an awesome recipe for romance. We'll just go hey. out to eat. Great, I'm starving. Keith, I really want to get caught up. I know, me too. But maybe not tonight. Maybe I can swing by mom and dad's later this week. Oh, well, I'm not staying there anymore. What happened? Oh. Morning! You know the worst thing is? I saw her. Oh my god. I know. And now I don't have anywhere to stay while I look for a job. But in this economy, it'll be no time. See, this is a pretty big place for one person, Britt. Uh, you're not staying here. I know. Seriously. Totally. Keith! <laughs> we shared a room before. When I was five! I'm a grown-up now. I'm a young, single, attractive woman living in the city. I'm like... What's the female equivalent of a ladies man? Mmm, a whore? No, no, it's Yeah, a... I'm pretty sure it's a whore. You are! You're a whore! Don't hey, you... Britt, this is Rick from the Craigslist Dad. I'm sorry for the short notice, but I'm not gonna be able to make dinner tonight because I've been arrested again, and it looks like this time they're gonna make it stick. So, uh, if you're around like five years from next Saturday, we could hook up then. In the meantime, you should, uh, send me some photos, you know, uh, Maybe get a little naked and uh, send me some shots of your tits. Uh, you could bend over and send me some shots of your ass from behind. And if you really wanted to get nasty, you could... Hang up the phone or I'll kick your ass. Hey, listen, Jesus! Ah, call me lawyer! Send me some pieces of your food! Not man of order! Man, you get a lot of text messages before 7 in the morning. You should turn your phone off. Whenever I have a problem, I just ignore it until it fixes itself or just goes away. Welcome to the working world. Mm. Oh, great. The meeting's been pushed back to one. Super. Looks like I'm not getting lunch today. Mm. I gotta go. No time for lunch. Mm. Number two. It is my sad duty to inform you that the black and white printers we've all grown to know and love are on their way out. Technology has claimed yet another victim. There's no stopping it, okay? It's a tsunami. I don't trust new technology. I don't like it. But as the head of the IT department, it's my job to understand it. Tell the printers. Son of a bitch. Well, what'd you say to me? Nothing. No, no, you called me a son of a I'm bitch. I'm sorry, I was talking about my brother. Knock, knock. Who's there? Keith! Keith who? Keith Hoppy. What are you doing here? Well, you said you didn't have time to go out to lunch, so I brought lunch to you. Say hello to lunch meat man. <laughs> that is some succulent man meat. Thanks, man. Keith, you can't just show up at my work like this. So you're Britt's brother? Yeah. Lunch meat? Hey, tell me, does she ever talk about me, Bill from work? No, not even when we were dating. We were never dating. I made the mistake of going on one date with you my first week here, and it was awful. Awesome. Our one night of romance was awesome. Yeah. You go, girl. <laughs> nothing happened. Well, a gentleman doesn't get the second base until. There's nothing to tell. The doctors were able to reconstruct it, though, using tissue from a pig. Most women can't tell the difference. Out of curiosity, how many have you seen? I'm sorry. Oh, please. Oh, no, please, please, please. I'm, I'm fine. I, no, please, it's okay. I'm... Please, please, I'm just... please.
I'm not having this conversation at work. If you returned my phone calls, we wouldn't have to. Do the same thing with John Febble, junior high. John Febble's a boy, but I'm a man with grown-up feelings and functional man parts. Can we have this conversation later? Hey, uh, I don't know. Maybe I already got a girlfriend. I'm not asking you out. I got it. I don't want to date you. The only relationship I want to have with you is strictly professional. By professional, might you mean sexual? No! I'm very confused. I don't want to date you! I don't like you, and I find the fact that your penis was made out of pig parts disgusting! Printers are gonna be here on Friday. Man, I didn't even know a girl could get fired for sexual harassment, did you? Set. You think? I do. I can sense it. Look, everything's gonna be okay. This is an opportunity. Now you can find an even better job. And how am I supposed to pay for rent until then? We'll think of something. No, we won't. I will. It's my job. It's my apartment. I'll think of something. Well, I can help. No, you can't, Keith. You're an idiot. How can you help? Look, you're my brother, and I love you. And I love you too. This. This isn't gonna work. I think you need to find another place to stay. I can't stay with you? No. I'm sorry. Good. I don't want to stay at your apartment anyway. Keith, I'll be confined as the only way in the world. Keith. Yeah, there she is. Hi, Keith. I'll bring gifts. Snowballs? <laughs> they still make these? Yeah, I had to go to like five different places. They said some crazy lady came in and cleaned them out. Oh. <laughs> she probably wasn't crazy. There's nothing crazy about finding comfort in the marshmallow goodness of a snowball. Yeah. Cool. But hey, listen, I was hoping I could come by and pick up my stuff. Yeah, come on in. Awesome. You seem to be in high spirits. Yeah, if I were rated on a scale from one to 10, I would have to say it's awesome. I found this ripping ass apartment for like super cheap and the location ruins. Sweet, where is it? It's down. Downtown? Big town. Where downtown? There's a Starbucks, if you know where that is. It's pretty sweet. So how you doing? Oh, not too bad actually. Cool. You know, I'm, I'm not that upset about the whole getting fired thing anymore. Really? I mean, other than it being a decent paycheck, there was nothing I liked about that job. So things are working out for both of us. I guess so. Cool. I know it doesn't matter now. Right. Because you have that sweet apartment. Right. But if you needed a place to stay, you could have stayed here. Really? I don't know, maybe it would have been cool to have a roommate. Oh, thank God. Well, there's no apartment. I made it up. I was... I was on the street and I was cold and alone. And I lost all my money playing this card game. All I had to do was find the Red Queen and I couldn't find the Red Queen. And then this homeless guy with his negative attitude, he just kept laughing and laughing at me. So I ran away again and then I stripped and fell and I skinned my knee. It was awful. That's weird. Oh, forget about those. Are those snowballs? Let's stop talking about snowballs. I'm sorry too. You're never gonna regret this. I love you. Do you love me too? Hmm? Are you eating another snowball? No.